Hello, hello, everybody. This is Miyuki. Welcome back to another Store of the Season Pioneer of All of Town Let's Play. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the tips videos. And I'm trying really hard in late game to try to unlock new things and finish some of my late game goals like finishing the meal and collecting all the treasures. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy today's episode and let's get started! Jiang Jiang, we're going to start with the fun Matsuyuki cutscene. Today is his birthday, so I gave him the grilled fish and seems like that allowed me to trigger a new cutscene with him. And then here's Victor and Gloria. And Victor says, oh, you're right on time. I should Let me ask Jack, what do you think? Huh? What are you going to ask me? Have you heard the rumor that's been spreading among the visitors that there's a ninja in the town? Ah, oh, yeah, that rumor. Yeah, I did heard about it. Huh, I'm guessing that must be the prank between Mikey and Cindy. But since there is a rumor, I feel like we can use it for attracting visitors. <gasps> That's a great idea. A town with ninja, all of town. And Gloria said, hmm, I'm really against this type of actions. It's almost like we're lying to people. I can't believe you agreed. Uh, well, no, I, I, I wouldn't say I agree. Maybe we should consider it a little bit. Ah, it's funny how Jack is like so easily swayable. And Victor looks so angry and he said, hmm, you're so not decisive. Oh no. And Jacobo said, ah, it hurts. Huh, what happened? Why is Jacobo hiding there? And Gloria said, isn't that, <gasps> it's ninja. It's ninja. That's so scary. I can't believe there really is a ninja. Well, I don't think that's ninja. That must be Jacobo. And Jacobo's like, uh, 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 it hurts so much. And Jacobo says, Oh, Dad, I can't play this character. You should ask for somebody who is better at moving around to pretend to be a ninja. Oh, I can't believe Victor trying to scam everybody. And Victor's like, wait, 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 Jacobo, what are you doing here? Ah, oh, I can't believe it. You guys, in order to attract the visitors, I can't believe you did something like this. Oh, and here's the ninja. <laughs> it's funny how he also shakes his head. And Jacobo said, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that ninja? It's ninja. And Gloria said, whoa, you guys are still lying to me? No, I'm not lying. He really is behind you. You saw that too, right, Jack? Did you see it, Jack? Hmm, what should I say? I feel like I've seen it, or maybe I haven't. Oh, Jack! <laughs> How could you say that? That makes us feel like liars. Oh, it seems like Matsuyuki is creating a lot of trouble in town. I can't wait for the town people finally realize that Matsuyuki is actually in town and the Victor finally <laughs> meet Matsuyuki. Since I have upgraded my house to the biggest house in game in the last episode, I was able to get another pet. So today I came to the temple and I want to pray for a new animal which is the wolf. I heard that other than the mini wolf that we can unlock, we can also unlock a big wolf that we can ride around the town which is super cool and I definitely want to unlock it. So all you need is 30 sprite which I already have and another rideable pet that we can unlock in game is the hand some horse it's i'm betting that it's kind of like the best body of the unicorn horse where it just looks a little bit handsome than a normal horse i'm definitely more excited by the wolf so i'm going to unlock the wolf and finally buy it Ta -da! now we can go to the pet store and buy the pet oh i'm super excited one thing i'm curious is whether the little wolf will live in our home like the rest of the pet or it will be like similar to other rideable animals we will need to build a barn for it first my guess is we need to build a barn first so i'm just going to go to the place and uh, buy a barn Unfortunately, Nigel's shop doesn't open today, so I can't buy a barn. So I'm guessing they won't allow me to buy the wolf. <gasps> Look at it, it's so cute. I think I'm going to temporarily move my original horse out of its barn and then put the little wolf in and then tomorrow I'll, <laughs> I'll buy a barn for my original horse. Don't worry, they won't disappear overnight even if you don't assign them a barn. Just in case you're curious, I moved my original horse's barn back to area 3 because I find that I found out that I don't use it much ever since I got the unicorn and the scooter. Poor horse, don't worry, I'll come back for you tomorrow when I get a new barn. And now, uh, if I put the barn down, I will have an empty barn which I can put my little, little, little wolf in. 
Huh, this is really weird. Even though now I finally have an empty barn, the game still shows an error message and says I cannot buy more pets. Maybe we can have a two rideable pets at the maximum? So I'm guessing I might need to say goodbye to my original horse in order to get a wolf. Aw, that's so sad. Unfortunately, even though it's very sad, I have to say goodbye to my one of my original horse. Oh, but because he does, he's not in the barn, I guess I can't even find him. Oh, I just noticed we have a button here that we can find out the animals that doesn't have a home. And here we go. Here's my cute little original horse, Asadi. Well, goodbye, Asadi. I will always remember you. And uh, I guess we'll be able to get a wolf now. Now let's try it again and hopefully this time I can buy it. Ta-da! Finally it's not grayed out and here's our little horse. Even though I'm really sorry and I will remember you forever, Asadi, but I'm actually also really excited to get this wolf. Based on the description, he's a huge and super cool wolf. And based on the legend, he is the messenger of spirit. And you will have a lot of fun riding him because he's super fast. Oh, that's amazing. So let's put him into a, our new barn and let's get him a name. I decided to name my cute wolf Zero Yasha as suggested by one of my patrons, Shang Tsai. I really, really like the name and I can't wait to ride my little horse around the town. Oh, little wolf. <laughs> I'm just so used to be riding the horse. Oh, I can't wait to go back to the farm and check it out. Ta-da! Here's Zero Yasha. He looks so cool. Wow, I love riding the horse around. I'm not sure whether it is faster than a unicorn. I feel like they're about the same speed. But it's uh, it feels like faster than a normal horse. Oh, I love it though. It's just so much cooler than riding a horse. I'm sorry, unicorn. I think for a while I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to ride my little wolf around. That is so cool. I need to move his barn a little bit closer to me though. Maybe I will ride the unicorn from area two to area three, and then start riding my little wolf. That is so cool. All right, I do have a mini wolf at home as my pet, so I'm going to. Also take him to meet his little brother. Let's go, wolf. I think they look ex almost exactly the same. It's gonna be hard to tell who's who. Let's see whether our horse is bigger than the other one. Where's your little brother? Probably went home, huh? It's kind of hard to find our pet. They usually go home around this time. So let's go in. Let's go in. All right, because he's a rideable animal, I can't take him home. Oh, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye here. That is so, he's so super cute. I love it. And I guess since he counts as one of the rideable animal, I probably could get another pet from the pet store, just as like an in-home, at-home pet. So that one's gonna be hard to pick. Today, I went back home kinda late and it seems like I triggered an after marriage supper event with Yori and he says, welcome, you're finally home. Well, it's nice to have somebody welcome us when we're back home and he says, I already prepared your dinner. Oh, thank you, Yori. Yori did mention in the last event that he's gonna cook for us more, so I guess this is he keeping his promise. That's great. And he says, I understand what's your favorite food a lot and just uh, try out what I made. Oh, thank you, Yori. Well, I don't see boba or milk tea here, though. So if you understand me, you would have made that. Maybe that's in the cup he made. And he says, what do you think? I wanna hear your feedback and I can say it's super yummy or I feel like my heart is warmed by your food. Okay, I'm going to say that. Oh, he must be really happy and he says, really? I'm super happy to hear you say that. Come on, you can eat however much you want. Oh, thank you, Yori. That's a really sweet little event. Hey Bridget, I'm back and today I want another pet. Oh, I'm so happy that we get to buy another pet and we can have in total four pets and I guess uh, only two rideable animals. And for this one, I decided to buy a little husky. I love husky and they look super cute. So definitely want to buy it. And because I just said goodbye to my little horse Asadi, I decided to name my husky Asadi to honor my little horse that I said goodbye to. Aww, oh, he's so super cute. I can't wait home and pet him. Now we have so many animals in the house. It feels super happy. 
Lucky today, I woke up and I triggered a baby dream event with Yori. So the condition for triggering this event is wake up 15 days after getting married, and it doesn't matter how many heart we have with Yori. And he says, Milky, I have to be honest. Today, I have a dream. I dreamed that we have a child. In my dream, our family is going great, and we're playing with the child. Aww, it's it seems like it's just like the ones that we had with Damon. I really wish there's more variety. For the after marriage event, and Yori said, "What? You have the same dream? I can't believe we have the same dream at the same time. Yeah, it's a great coincidence." And then I think the next event, which is the baby giving event, happens after two months and five days after marriage. So it's gonna be a long time until we can actually have the children. But I think I will get it with Yori. Ah, I just realized I haven't changed clothes for a while, so let's change out to our cat clothes. I've been wearing the doggy clothes for a while, and it's time it's time to change it up. I actually quite like the cat clothes too, and I think I wonder will my cat react if I walk around by then with my cat clothes. Hello, cat, and I just want to show you guys my little husky. Look at it! I love how they all sleep together like that. Good morning, cat, cat, cat. The husky actually looks pretty similar from like the wolf. If you guys, if you guys see them laying there, they kind of look like brothers. Yeah, I think this one is the husky, and that one is my little wolf. Today I went home super late, which is pretty rare for my late game. I usually actually sleeps around 4 p.m. And Yuri is like, ah,、oh, it's so late. Recently, the time you go home is pretty late. No, no, Yuri. I just told you I usually go home pretty early. And、uh, I can explain. I'm doing farm work. I'm helping the town people. I accidentally forgot the time. I think most of the time I'm just doing the farm work. So I'm going to explain that to him. Yuri, I've been working really hard. And he said, Ah, if that's the case, then I totally understand. And I could say, Sorry, I come home too late. Or I'll be careful with the time.、Hmm. I'm going to say, Sorry, I come home too late. And he says, Well, thank you. You really moved me with your conversations. Well, I feel a lot better after talking to you. Seems like sometimes if I have something I want to say, I should talk to you about it. Yes, yes, you should always be honest about it. And he says, "Well, if you have something to say, don't mind, just tell me." Hmm. Hmm. I guess I do have something I want to tell Yuri. I wonder could he help with the farm work a little bit more? <laughs> just joking. I really wish they implement the something like. Porsche, where our husband or wife would help with the farm work after getting married, that would be a、uh, super helpful. Like help me gather some crops would be great, Yuri. We haven't done it for a while, but I can finally finish another Lapis quest, which is the Matsutake rice. The reason I wasn't able to finish it before is I think we can only unlock this recipe if we reach cooking level nine. So it's definitely some recipe that we unlock pretty late at night. And in order to make rice, all we need is just a crop, and we can actually add the spice to it. So I'm going to add my egg in order to increase the quality of the rice we got after we. We're done with it. After I get the rice, I just need to go to the main dish, pick the matsuyuki rice, and and then get the rice. You can see I already have my nine star matsuyuki, which is pretty good. And then let's add the ingredient bamboo shoot. I'm also going to add soy sauce. Just want to make sure that we the the quality of the rice we make in the end will be able to exceed six star. Hopefully it is. Tada! We did it. Actually, it's a nine-star dish. I'm pretty happy with that, and I think Lapid will accept it too. Jiang Jiang, he accepted it, and it seems like I will be able to get three flowers out of it. Oh, actually, nine flowers out of it. That's pretty nice. Those flowers are gonna make some great honeys. And、uh, let's see what else he wants. Wow, there's so many other items he wants. I especially want to make this one because it seems like he's gonna give us some special fish bait, which will be pretty useful. But for this item, Love It wanted to be at least eight star. It's going to be challenging, but I'm going to try. Tada! After taking care of. 
tons and tons of animals, I finally level up my animal taking care of skill to level 9. So now it's super easy to get better relationship with the animals, animals are easy to feel happy, and we get more money by selling animal product. That is great! Now I can finally unlock the pink rabbit and the black cow by reaching level 9. I heard that after we get to level 9, the animal shop will start selling them. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it! Let's go to the animal shop and check it out! Hopefully I unlocked it! Huh, I'm not sure why I haven't seen the pink rabbit sold in the animal shop yet. Maybe we need to sleep one day and then get it? That would be my guess. Today, I think I'm also ready for another Luffy's request which is super weird. He wants a salad that's kinda sour, salty, and spicy. There are actually multiple dishes we can make to satisfy this. One of them is the spinach salad, the other one is the Thai salad. Since I have like 10 star spinach, I think I'm going to try to make the spinach salad. And then I think we have the 6 star olive. For this one, we need to make quality at least the 6 stars. So I think I might be able to do it, hopefully. I'm praying that it's gonna reach 6 star. Ta-da! We did it! Actually, it's 9 star. Okay, great, great, great. I I think I can submit that today. Ta-da! There we go! I can submit the salad and apparently it gives me tons of different honeys. Personally, I am actually really want to do this one because I want to get the mysterious fish bait that I don't think I have it yet. Honestly, I have been fishing for a long long time but I think it's finally time for me to upgrade my fish rod to Oricalcum. Because I think one of the goals I want to do is start catching legendary fishes. And uh, in order to do that, the Oracle Kong fish rod is definitely recommended. Um, I don't really think I want to upgrade our water can to Oracle Kong yet or the water bucket just because I still have some usage for my Oracle Kong bar. Maybe later I'll try to upgrade them all to finish the accomplishment. By the way, some of the dishes that's required in the Luffy's request, in order to learn the recipe, not only we need to level up, we also need to go to the cafe and actually eat it in order to be inspired. For example, one of the requested items is coconut juice, which I have no way of learning other than come to the cafe and drink it. So I'm going to drink the coconut juice and hopefully that will... It's funny how I ordered the coconut juice but I'm still eating the fish and hopefully that will inspire me to learn it. Ta-da! I did it! And then also I think I learned mocha this way. There's a few things that you need to drink and eat in order to learn it. I would recommend going through and try to eat all the items that you unlock. For example, I think chocolate cake is also one thing we want to eat. Dun 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 dun. You can see I got the coconut juice now in my cooking recipe and I actually happen to have a 10 star coconut. I actually got the 10 star coconut tree sapling directly from the sprite shop which is super helpful and then I grew it in my forever summer garden. I surprisingly also need this little wild flower and here we go. We have coconut juice. Hopefully it's 10 star. I think it should be. <gasps> Look at that. Apparently when it's 10 star, the star is actually super beautiful and it got, it got this like shiny outside of it. That looks super cool. I love it. And apparently I got achievement for it for making the 10 star the cooking material cook the dish. This is the first uh, 10 star dish I made and uh, that's awesome. I wonder what kind of rewards that I will get by doing this. Now let's submit our coconut juice to Luffet. Wow, today we're just blasting through the Luffet's request. Hopefully I'll be able to finish all of this. There's actually another set of quests that, that he want to do which I heard is super hard. But hopefully I'll be able to do them all and reach cooking level 10. Wow, today I went back home after 7pm and I triggered another after marriage cutscene with Yori. I think this is a cutscene that we only triggered with our husband or wife after we get 15 hearts which I just reached with Yori today. I actually got achievement for it and the reward is actually a diamond. And Yori said, Miyuki, you're back. Thank you for all the hard work you did today. Oh, that's really sweet. We did so many farm work and Yori is the first one that appreciated us. And Yori says, speaking of that, it feels so great to live with somebody who knows me so much. Remember when I just met you? I think I'm fishing. Ah, oh, that's our first cousin. 
I don't know why you feel curious about me, or you are just feeling curious about the fish. But now we live at the under the same roof. Life is really mysterious. It makes me remember so many things. For example, and we can choose the fish that、uh, Grandpa Nguyen gave us, the time we spent、uh, with Yuri when he was taking a nap, and all the things happened with Matsuyuki. I think、uh, the things that makes me remember the most is definitely all the stuff that happened between Matsuyuki and Yuri, and he's getting assassinated constantly. And he says, "Yeah, now that I remember it, it actually feels I remember it so fondly." From now on, I actually wish we could build more memories that just belongs to two of us. Ah, that's so sweet. And I love how he pulls out the tea, which is kind of this is the one casting kind of that seems more tailored towards that specific <coughs> marriage candidate, except the one the other castings, which is basically the same no matter who you marry. Here we go! I think our guess is right. As soon as I see Patricia's face, I figure this must be the casting for unlocking the pink rabbit and the cow. So Patricia says, "Sorry, I suddenly come to your farm, but I want to be the first one to notify you." Oh, what is it? We started to sell some rare animals. Yippee! That's great. I'm super excited. Early in the morning, you must be interested. Please take them home. I'll wait for you. Yep, yep, yep. I'll come today and the quick. Quickly take my pink rabbit and the cow home. I'm actually super excited for, especially for the pink rabbit. Tada! Here's our little black cow, and its personality is full of love. I love it. And apparently, its、uh, description says its skin is super smooth and shiny, and it looks luxurious. Yes, it does. I would love to buy it and put it into our little cow barn. And then we have our pink rabbit. It honestly looks super cute, and I love it. Based on the description, it has a pretty bubbly personality, and it has the bright fur. I bet there is some clothes that can only be made if we use the pink rabbit's fur. Oh, it is not cheap though, but it definitely deserves it. And I'm going to name the pink rabbit Angela, as suggested in the comments. There we go! Tada! Now I think I officially unlocked all the animals in game. Oh, I just feel so super happy about that, and I'm surprised that I didn't get an achievement for it. Maybe when I exit, I'll get achievement. Still no. Hmm. Maybe if I get all the product from them, I'll be able to get achievement. And let me know if you guys are interested for me to make a tips video about how to get all of the animals, where do they show up, and all of that. I'm. I'll be super happy to do that because I love farming animals, and it's just、uh, so much happiness that every. Day I go there and pet them. After gifting Matsuyuki grilled fish day after day, I finally got ten heart with him, and I think I just triggered his ten heart cutscene. I wish this cutscene is more about Matsuyuki, even though a few. The other few cutscenes was pretty fun, but none of them was about what happens to Matsuyuki when before he come to Olive Town. I really want to get to know him more, so hopefully this one will get to do it. And the, there's two visitors, and they're saying, and these two visitors are saying, huh? It must be a lie. They're just ninjas going around the town. And then the visitor says, hmm, yeah, but we haven't searched all the place yet. Just check before that. Don't you feel like it's suspicious? How about we go and take a look? Sure. Oh, they might be able to find Matsuyuki, who always just hang out in front of Yuri's house. He's super creepy. And Wizard says, "Huh, I didn't know that the town had place like this. Is it okay that we just can we go in here?" And hello, are you guys lost? Who are you? You said dangerous, and we should stop going inside. Huh? Well, if it's dangerous, shouldn't it be the same for you? <gasps> and here's a little bear. Oh no! What's gonna happen? And the wizard said, "Huh? What happened?" Oh, and she said, "Uh, it's a bear. What? What should we do?" Well, let's not、uh, excite him. Let's just slowly walking backwards. <gasps> oh no! One of the wizards dropped on the ground, and <gasps> wow! Matsuyuki suddenly rushed out and saved us. That is pretty cool. And disappeared. Wow! And then the wizard said, "That bear, huh? Did you chase it away? Well, we didn't. It's Matsuyuki. Hopefully, Yuki in game was able to explain to them. <gasps> was that the end of the cutscene? I hope not. 
And the visitor says, "Sorry for bringing you trouble. Even though we didn't say ninja, but we met somebody who's really, really great that will take our leave." Oh no! I want to tell them that it's actually ninja. And that's the turn hard cutscene. Oh no, Matsuyuki! I really wish it's more about him. He barely show up in his own turn hard cutscene. Hmm. Maybe they will make him one of the secret marriage candidate later in game. I would be super looking forward to that, cause I need to know more about him. Tada! Even though we got distracted by Matsuyuki, I finally went and visit my little pink rabbit. It's so cute. I love how pink it is. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to breed the pink rabbit. And then also let's go check out the black cow. I think it looks pretty similar to the brown cow, other than the color. Oh, there we go! Oh, it's so cute. Hello, hello, Yumi-kun. I can't wait to see the pink rabbit baby. They're gonna be super duper cute too. I love the baby animals in this game. They're all super cute and have their own cutscene. Well, I think that wrap up our today's video perfectly. I did got a lot of comments and questions asking me why don't I fully clean my farm? Why is there so many trees and grass left around? So one thing is, I actually wouldn't recommend fully decorate your house in your first year, cause there's some wild animals have very specific conditions for them to show up. For example, the monkey, they will only show up in areas where there's bunch of trees. So if you fully decorate this area, you might have a hard time meeting some of the wild animals. So until you collect all of them, or if you want to collect all of them, I would recommend keep your farm a little bit wild and uh, leave some space for the wild animals to leave. And that's it for today's video. I definitely, definitely hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so so much for going through this series with me. I think my next big main goal is to get a baby, and uh, I'm super looking forward to that. And I'll see you guys next time.